All right, here we are with our colorist for Glurk and Bow, Jimmy G. Hey, guys. It's great to be here. Right on. Thanks again for being on the show. I'm not sure where this is, but it's great to be here. So uh, tell us a little bit about how you got into coloring comics. Well, I actually started coloring comics in 2018. 2018, I think it was. Uh, I happened to find an online course uh, by Kurt, Mac Kurt Michael Russell. And initially it started as just something to do with a little bit of time. And quickly started realizing if I practiced, I might be able to get quite good at it. And that's the, the rest is history. Just started finding some pain work. And the work got more, the projects got bigger. And now I color comics. It's great. Oh, cool. So prior to coloring comics, I mean, you know, did you, did you really have a background as an artist doing anything else? Um, I wouldn't say I have a huge background as an artist. I did a lot of art in school and high school. Never went to university or college. Um, I've always done creative things. I've, always, I've used Photoshop a lot in the past. And after finding an online coloring course, I just sort of used the skills I already had, translated them to coloring the comics, and here we are. Cool. So, um, are you much of a, a comic reader then outside of work? I mean, what are some of your favorite comics? Um, but having, having worked in comics now, I have more of an appreciation for independent comics, so I do tend to like... Um, the lesser known stuff from maybe not the big two. I don't really collect the big two as I used to. So uh, at the moment, I'm currently re I'm currently reading Batman because Batman's an unstoppable force, and I love it. Uh, same with Daredevil. Really big Daredevil fan. I'm reading Money Shot. I'm also reading um, what else am I reading? Reading uh, Undiscovered Country, and that's all that I'm getting on a monthly basis. But I do I have started to lean more into the trade paperback. Trade, sorry, trade paperback area of things because I just find it's more convenient for me and there's less clutter not having as many floppies lying around. So Jimmy, can you tell us about any other projects you're excited about working on? For other projects, um, an ongoing series I work on is called Rose Society, written by Eddie Klinker with art by Damon Hampton. It's just a really good book, really well, really well um, thought out writing from uh, Eddie quite emotive and the artwork really reflects that. I'm also working on an absolutely hilarious book um, called Idle Insanity, part of the Leon line of books. It's uh, written by Eric Gay and his friend Greg and it's just absolutely fantastic. It's so, so funny. You've just got to think um, anime bad guys meets Jurassic Park and yeah, it's just really funny. Um, if you follow me on social media, you'll be able to find a link to it somewhere on there. Um, but yeah, anything anything upcoming, I really like doing individual little projects, but those books are going to be super cool. So uh, so how do you like working on Clerk and Bo? Uh, so obviously, Clerk and Bo is going to be a great book. It is already a great book and issue two is going to be even better. Um, really like working with the guys. Tom is a fantastic artist. I really love putting colour on his on his artwork. Really feel like we work well together. And uh, Ben and Taylor, both awesome. Really good editor, really good writer. And I feel like we work, we work well as a team. So it's really a creative, collaborative process rather than just you do this job and I'll do mine. And so that's been really satisfying. Right on. Well, how can folks find you online, Jimmy? I know you're, you know, you're for hire all the time. Yeah, yeah. Always open for work. Uh, so just check out my website, Jimmy G Color. That's color with a U. dot com. J I double M Y G C O L O U R. dot com. Awesome. Thank you. Bye. Very cool. All right. Well, we're gonna kick it back to the live updates. All right. Thanks for hanging with us. <laughs> 